Hi, welcome everyone. I'm excited and so happy that you've joined me today because I have some fun tips for you for creating these super amazing flowers. I mean, they are so gorgeous. I think you are going to love it when you see how I created them. So, hi Marcy, hi Mary, El, uh, Marianne, Sherry, how are you all? This is going to be fun. Wait till you see what I did to make these. But maybe you saw the sneak peek already. I don't know. <laughs> so if you did, then then you um you already know what I did. Hi, Margaret and Sandy. Welcome. Hey, Lisa from Oregon. This is just a super quick impromptu video because I was just trying something out new behind the scenes. I won't bore you with technical details, but I just wanted to see how this would work. And I think it's working. So, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Lindsay and Ellen and Mary. Hi, Mary Ann. I am so glad you're here. Wait till you see this. I was stamping on waves of the ocean designer paper and that's how I was getting these beautiful flowers which I'm going to show you I'm going to show you all about it oh I see some hearts thank you hey Marcy hi Donna Ellen Claire welcome hi Diane hi Constance so we are going to talk about this. I'm going to show you what I did, and then we're going to make a card. But I need your opinion because I thought I knew what I wanted to make, and then all of a sudden I was like, whoa, I have another idea. So, yeah, thank you. They are pretty, aren't they? Were any of you on here live, uh, was it yesterday? No, two days ago when I showed you all of my waves of the ocean cards. I think that was two, was it two days ago? I think it was. Oh gosh, I don't know. This week is like mushed together big time. Maybe that was yesterday. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was yesterday, my poor brain. Yeah, yesterday. And I was showing you how this new waves of the ocean collection is so beautiful and all of these most of these backgrounds are from this new collection called Waves of the Ocean. Let me just show you. So there's this flyer that shows the collection, the paper, the foil, the rhinestones, and the bundle. So yeah, that was yesterday. Oh my goodness. It does. Why does it feel like it was ages ago? I think a lot has happened in... Yeah, thanks, Jen. <laughs> I think... Oh, I think a lot has happened in the last 24 hours. So, yeah, so we were looking at the wave samples. And then last night, I mean, I don't know, does your brain just never shut off like mine? All of a sudden, I thought, I'm going to stamp flowers on that waves of the ocean paper. Oh, my gosh. And then I thought, well, we have another promotion going on right now. And it's called Savings Are in Bloom. And one of the bundles that are on sale is this art gallery bundle. And I loved this bundle when it came out. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to try it out. So here's what I always do. Last night, I got up out of bed. I went and grabbed this off of my shelf. And I put it on my desk with my paper so that I wouldn't forget. And then today, I started stamping with it. So it's these two flowers that layer together, and then there's the little center that you see. Here's the leaf, and leaf and stem, and then the dies. So let me kind of go over that. You know what? Uh, I should back up. Hi, everybody. This is Patty Bennett. Did I even say that at the beginning? Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. Like, I'm on extreme excitement mode, right? And I blog right here, pattystamps.com. And I try to share every day with you either some kind of a project, a reminder, something. And you are visiting me live. If you're watching live and you see that red live button, then you are catching a Facebook live. But you may be watching a replay and that's fine as well. Um, oh, <laughs> thanks, Lindsay. She's like, we know who you are. <laughs> I hope so. 
See, I was just talking to Tammy in my group, one of my dear downline today, and we were just talking about how, you know, if somebody new tunes in and they don't even know that you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator or that you could purchase these products in our online store or that we have a blog, it's important to say that because I always get new people tuning in. So I'm sorry when I get so excited and ahead of myself, <clears throat> but now you know, Patty Bennett, pattystamps.com. <laughs> So there you have it. Hi, Kimmy. Hi, Lisa in Australia. Oh, good. So Lori does that too. She leaves stuff on her desk to remind her. And I know I could have just written myself a note, but it was fun to just leave it all out and come look at it this morning. So let's look at what I did. And then we're going to make some cards because this, and I'm going to need your opinion on this about something that I wanted to try out. So here you can see the two images. So there is, and yes, they're stained. That happens with photopolymer when you stamp in a lot of red and pink, which I do because I love those colors. So you have a more solid image, and then you have an image that has more detail. So I like to personally stamp this one first, and then I stamp the detail on top. So let me show you how I did that. I'm going to do it right here. And I always write down the colors because if I want to recreate it and I forget, then I'm kind of stuck. So we have, I'm calling this the Patty palette. If you know me, if you've followed me, you know these are the colors that I love, especially Poppy Parade, Granny Apple Green. Those are like my two favorites. So I think on this one, I'm going to go with the Flirty Flamingo and let's try Poppy Parade on top instead of the coral. Let's see how that looks. Tammy was telling me that I was brave to be uh, stamping on this paper. And I'm like, it's only paper. It's just paper. Like, have fun, right? <laughs> and go for it and, and do beautiful things and stamp loveliness. So here we have the Flirty Flamingo in the background. Okay, with, with the more solid image. And then, like I said, Poppy Parade. And I don't know, I hope this isn't too dark, but we'll see. You know, it's just paper. And I'm hoping this is lined up. I'm not going to put my head right under the camera to look, but we're going to hope. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at the contrast on that. It's really different than Coral as the darker color. I like that. I really like that. And I'm thinking about not re-inking this and stamping again, but it may not be dark enough. But hey, it's only paper. Let's try it. Let's try. Let's see what that looks like in a second. Um, yeah, it doesn't show as much, right? So what I'm going to do is just kind of lightly ink it and go again. And I think it's going to look great. Yep, that is cool. So that's how you do the two-step stamping. And when, gosh, when I signed up with Stampin' Up! in 1995, like 500 years ago, uh, two-step stamping was popular. It came into popularity and it was really a popular thing that people did with the double images. We forgot to do that one. So I'm going to do actually all of these on this page. So I love, look at the contrast when you do Poppy Parade in the center. Isn't that pretty? It just really pops those flowers right off the page. And you'll notice I've stamped in all different spots on this designer paper. Just kind of experimenting like this one had more of a white background. This one got into the yellow. This one got into the yellow. This one is half in the yellow or oh, a lot of it's in the yellow. This one has a lot of white. So it's just fun to stamp it in different places and see what it looks like. And then I'm going to die cut a couple of these. But before I do, now that you know how to do this, I'll show you this one. And you'll, you will have kind of gotten the idea. So Mango Melody and Pumpkin Pie, that was my combo. And let's do 
Calypso Coral for that little center in this one. Oh, that's pretty. Those three colors are gorgeous together. And then you have the yellows and kind of this peachy color in the background and the white. It, it's just stunning what happens when you use all these different colors on this paper. It's I think it's amazing. Just checking over here to see. Uh, Cheryl, this is the Waves of the Ocean paper that we used yesterday on our wave cards. And let me show you. I do have it still. I fanned it all out here yesterday for the video. So this was just released by Stampin' Up! yesterday, March 1st. And it's got all these gorgeous patterns that, see, they look like waves or ocean or crashing waves or uh, water. But I'm using these three right here that do not have blue. So we have like yellows and flamingo and maybe petal pinks and corals. That's the one I'm using, those three right there. And it just became available yesterday on uh, March 1st. I think I just said that, right? So I'm going to put a link to that paper in the description of this video as soon as I'm done, but you can always go to my blog today, pattystamps.com, and I have that information for the paper on my blog today if you need to order that. Oh, good. Pat says her paper should be here by Friday. Yeah, you're welcome, Cheryl. Let's see. It has a big pit in the middle of the stamp. What? I must have missed something. Sorry, I don't, I'm not sure. I missed a conversation about something. So we are going to die cut those. But before I do, I took this pattern out that I had not stamped with yet. And I was wondering, like I'm looking over here at this peach and white area, maybe in here. So, what if we did coral and poppy on this? I'm thinking yes. So, thanks for coming along on the ride today. We're kind of creating on the fly a bit. We are experimenting, and I am hoping to have a couple of really lovely cards for you by the end of the video, because I have ideas in my head, but then I also got a second idea and you know how that goes. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Sorry, Kimmy. I, I guess I'm, I apologize that I'm, I missed, missed the conversation. All right. So then Poppy will be the darker shade. This is going to be just gorgeous, right? Oh my goodness, if there ever was a combination of patty colors with a flower, this is it. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Oh my gosh, look at those. Oh wow, and what's really cool is that every single one is different because it's on a different spot in the paper. So unless you did another whole sheet in the exact same spot, you'll never have the same thing twice. You know what? I wonder, what would this look like if we did black? Do you think that would... Let's try one. Let's just try one. I'm just thinking, what if... Sorry, I gotta stand up. Grab my black pad wonder what that would look like because you know a lot of flowers have like really dark or black in the center mm, okay I oh actually looks like a poppy now doesn't it California poppy almost hmm okay instead of black what about what about 
What if we did basic gray? Sorry for reaching. My pads are in front of my workstation. What if we did basic gray? Oh, it doesn't really show as much, but it shows. And that's kind of cool. I actually kind of like that. I'm going to stamp right over that one. I thought for some reason, I just thought it would be darker, but it looks really good in person. I like it. I like it. It's fun to experiment. Oh, early espresso. Totally. Let's do that. Oh, I hope I just didn't bump the camera. My sleeve got caught. <laughs> Let's try early espresso. I'm just going to do it right on top. Whoa, that's almost black. My early espresso is super, super dark. But you know what? I really like it. Let's go on top of that one, too. Ooh, I like it. Oh, I like it. I like it. Oh, Night of Navy would have been good, too. Yeah, thanks, Lindsay, for suggesting the early espresso. I just can't believe how dark my early espresso pad is. That's super dark. But it looks stunning, doesn't it? That contrast. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, beautiful. Yes, and it might lighten up a bit. You're right. When it um when it dries. Yep, totally. But you know what? It's fun, right? We experiment. And I just noticed I have two over here that were already die cut that don't have a center. And I'm thinking with that coloring that this early espresso could look really amazing. Let's try it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So beautiful, beautiful. Put those back aside. Now what I'm going to do is use my paper trimmer to cut some strips because obviously 12 by 12 paper does not fit in I don't know why I did that first that was really silly I have no idea that's fine <laughs> we can just be silly um, 12 by 12 paper does not fit into um, a die cutting machine so that's why I was going to cut them smaller. And then let's cut that. And I need to cut a couple of these gorgeous flowers that we did. Aren't they so pretty? Should I do those? I'm going to give that a darker center. I don't know. What color should we do in the center of that? I'm going to start some die cutting and you can let me know what, what color. I already did poppy, but it's just not showing as much. So let's die cut. And I'm going to use the mini because it's on special right now. It is 20% off on our Savings in Bloom special for March 2022. It is only $48. So if it's if you have not kind of gotten into the world of die cutting and it's something that you're thinking about doing or if you're like me and you have the large or the regular, you know, the large er machine and you also want one to be able to take to a friend's house or maybe to a crop or you just, like me, I have it here at my desk so I don't have to get up and turn around and, and grab it. It's really nice to have a second option. And I know that's not for everybody. I understand that. It's a little bit of a luxury. But at the sale price... I think it's a great deal if it's something you've been thinking about. And again, if you wanted more information about that sale, I had it on my blog yesterday. So pattystamps.com on March 1st. 
Let's see. Knight of Navy for the center. Old, oh, Old Olive. Okay. Uh, this is from Art Gallery, Debbie, the Art Gallery set. Let me show it again for the, those who are tuning in later. And it is called Art Gallery. It's part of that 20% off sale for March. The bundle is, the whole bundle, not, not just the stamp set, but the bundle. Okay, let me get these cut out, and then I'm going to look back through your comments about... Sorry, I'm moving moving my paper and I don't mean to make everybody dizzy. But I'm going to read your comments about your color suggestions and then we will assemble because I want to show you this awesome idea. And by the way, again, thank you for those of you who are tuning in. I know this is not my regular time for a live my regular day and time but I had just tried something different kind of behind the scenes and I just wanted to make sure that it works and I won't bore you with any technical details but I just wanted to say again thank you for joining in and just helping me out I know that it's working because I see that you're here I see your comments All right, now, I'm sorry, we got all moved. So let me see, hopefully, if I got that back into the frame. And we have all these pretty flowers now. Oh, I forgot to, well, they're kind of duplicates. That's fine, we'll just do those the next time. Okay, so now let me look at your um, suggestions for the center. Oh, Blackberry Bliss, yeah. Let me see, anybody else? I'm just looking. Espresso, Navy, Olive. Okay. Um, these, right? This is what we were looking at. I'm like, which ones were we talking about? <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, we could try Navy. I'm thinking Knight of Navy could really be, could really be stunning. Excuse me again for reaching. Let's, let's try it. Let's try it. It's just paper, right? Oh, yeah. That's gorgeous. Because it's dark like the black and the espresso, but it's got that coolish tone to it that looks really good. I am not sure if you can see the difference. Let me hold them up. Let me show you. So in the middle there are the two with the navy. On the right and the left we did, I think they're both espresso. Now I lost track of what we stamped in what. But can you see there's a slight difference in tone there? I think they're beautiful. That's really gorgeous. Really lovely. Okay, so now let thanks, Susan. Thanks, Diantha. Oh, cherry cobbler would have been perfect. Do I still have one without a center that I could try? These all have the the centers. But you know what? I'm going to keep that in mind because that is a great suggestion. So now let me show you last night when, like I said, when I got this stuff out and I was thinking in my mind of what to do. So here's what I had in mind. White top fold card base. And then I was thinking about a background paper. These two are from the tulip. It's I think it's called Flowering Fields. I just call it the tulip paper, right? Whatever. And so I had this idea that it would make a gorgeous background. And it does. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? And then I thought, well, maybe plain green. Okay, that, that could be just subtle. 
And then I thought this because it, and this also is the tulip, I call it the tulip paper. Okay, so if we had, these are the scallop contour dies, and if we just had some, some flowers, and I think I have a couple stems here left over that we can play with. Oh, but wait, wait, look. Oh, yeah. So gorgeous. Okay, just, just to get an idea, right? Just sort of to get a feel. Okay. So, right? Pretty, pretty. Then I also thought about this one from the Waves of the Ocean because it's picking up these colors that we've been using. So that was a thought. And then, hang on, check this out. We have this card and envelope bundle. It is called Abstract Beauty Cards and Envelopes. It is four by six in size, so four by six. And all of the patterns in here are different. Every single one is different. And look at this. Couldn't you just see almost every single one of these being a background for what we just did? And I was just blown away. And I thought, oh my goodness. Probably not pink because we didn't do any pink. So I'll set that one aside. But I think the blue would work. This would be gorgeous. I'm, I'm going to save the black for something else. Even though this has pink, I think that could work. The yellow would be amazing. The blue would be gorgeous. The navy would be beautiful. And then this rainbowish, ombreish one would be gorgeous. I'm like, oh my gosh, now I don't even know what to do. <laughs> so I just thought, let's just, let's just look. Like if that, look how beautiful. Wouldn't that be amazing? I think it would be amazing. I think it would be gorgeous. Just coax that to stay shut there. And a little offset like that, and then maybe a grating up here. Maybe a little bow right there. And then let's look at... I don't know if enough of this yellow is going to show, but let's, let's look and see if we did... Oh, look how pretty! If we offset it down there in the corner. So there's like infinite beautiful possibilities. Oh yeah, I forgot this isn't, <laughs> it's not glued down. <laughs> Look at that. Look how gorgeous. Any of these would be absolutely amazing. So Aren't they stunning, Tammy? I know. Oh, Susan says I show things that she didn't know she needed. That's kind of half my job. Let me tell you a funny story. When I first started with Stampin' Up, well, in 1995, almost 27 years ago, we did all workshops and classes. That's all demonstrators did because there was no such thing as online. And so I would go to a workshop and I would hand out a shopping list and an order form and a catalog. We would make projects and I would um, give them a supply list of what we used. And then when people said, you know, I came today with a list of what I was going to order. And now you've just made me add all these things to my order. Then I knew I did my job because I knew what I was showing was something that people enjoyed. <laughs> So, yeah, then I did my job. <laughs> so, Susan, I guess if I have convinced you that you like these, then then you, then I did my job. <laughs> uh, Mary, the paper, we, the paper that we've been stamping on is the waves of the ocean. Th that's the waves of the ocean that we've been doing all the flowers on. Is that what you're asking? Or are you asking the cards? 
it's I just showed this. It's the Abstract Beauty Cards and Envelopes, and all 10 of them are different. So I just went through all of them, all 10 of them. I don't know if you just tuned in, but um, that's what that's what these are right now. Uh-oh, I am bad for your wallet, says Marcy. I'm so sorry. Yep, I love the blue too because of the blue in the leaves. I think that's why it looks so great, right? Right. Oh, thank you. Okay, yeah, the cards. Yep, that's it's the pack I just showed. So let me give you the number. It's 158050, Abstract Beauty, 10 different cards, and all of these envelopes, the liners are all different as well, all of them. So they all coordinate with one of the cards. So it's really, 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 really cool. So let's assemble this, and I'll show you how I did it, and then we'll decide how we are putting everything together. So I used my favorite foam adhesive sheets. I have some Teflon scissors that I use to cut it, or I use old scissors, either way. And I first popped up the one that goes up here, and I like it hanging off the rectangle. Then I just used a little, little bit of the liquid glue on the leaves. You don't need a lot because it's going to stay down. It's not going anywhere. Tuck the stem under there and just set that down. <laughs> Marianne says she guessed she's placing another order today. <laughs> I saw that you already ordered. I think I emailed you this morning. Oh, you know what? No, I didn't. I didn't get to that yet, but I saw your order and thank you so very much. I appreciate you as always. And then I just stuck another piece of the foam tape over here. And I think, I think I'll go ahead and use this one. I like this combo because I like the dark centers in both of them. What do you think? I like that. I think it looks nice. I think maybe if I had a dark center and a light center together, it might look funny. I'm not sure. Okay, and then my second set of leaves. And then that could just get glued right on there. It could. Um, let's just see. No. Let's see. I actually do really like that. Let's 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 hold that as a thought. So one of those, maybe I'll have you vote. And then I really love this because I just feel like all of those colors are in that card. So I'm I'm pretty sure I'm loving that. And then I just I think this this really is pretty. What else? Let's see. Did we like it on I don't I like that. I love that. I don't like it as well as that. I think this is like fresh and springy. Let's see what else. Let me see. Since there's, no, never mind. <laughs> I don't know. Do you ever do that like in your mind in a split second, you know, if you like it or not? Gosh, that could be really neat as well because then they really pop. Oh my goodness. So, okay. So that might be an either or. And then of course I have all these other flowers and I can just go with everything else. Wait, there's one. This is what we haven't tried yet. This is Waves of the Ocean. And that's really pretty too. It's just real soft. And it, that's interesting, right? It's um really interesting. Oh gosh, I don't know. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Let's see what everybody is saying here. Oh, the a piece of vellum behind there would be gorgeous. Exactly. It would. 
Love the blue green. Um, let's see. Love the pink orange ombre. I do too. I think that that's a yes. I'm totally doing that one. And what else? What else are you liking? What are you thinking? For this one, are we thinking the blue? Or are we thinking the, I don't even know for sure exactly what color, if that's supposed to be mango or bumblebee or whatever it is, it's just yellow-ish. It's beautiful. Which one are you thinking for this one? Blue, okay. A dark sentiment, yes, I, I definitely agree with that. Uh, love the blue, the blue, the blue, a colored base. Like, Lindsay, instead of the patterned paper, you mean? Thank you, Paulette. So just the blue. I, I like that because it's maybe a little more unexpected. And the colors just go so well. Okay, so if we do that, we've got that. We didn't try this, did we? I like it, but like I think we could do better. Does that make sense? I still really think this is really interesting. And I'm definitely going to do it with one of these others. So I'm just going to set it aside. I am going to use that. Between these two, what do you... Let me move this one so you're not distracted. Do you think the blue just because like it pops or the yellow because the yellow really blends? The yellow with the blue. Wait, now I'm confused. The blue... Too much yellow. Oh, too much yellow. So maybe if, if we did one like that, where you have a little more red, then I think, I think that would be really beautiful. I see what you mean, right? So that, okay. So I'm going to have to rewatch my video so that I remember what I did. And I just want to see. I'm just going to try something just, just to see. Like if we had all yellow on this one, that would be beautiful as well. This is fun. It's kind of like paper dolls. So if we did these two. No. This one and a flamingo one. Let me cut that out so I remember. So I'm going to do those two with the yellow later. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to do the blue, and we're going to do the blue. And this is going to be later, probably that and that, maybe three, those three. And then I have some yellow ones left over that I will also do. Oh my goodness, look at this, you helped me so much. Yeah, so I will get those put together and I think I will, I don't know when I'm gonna blog these, soon. And then, um, yeah, I'm not sure which day I have open on my blog. I blog far ahead, and we will get that on my blog soon. And I also, I always forget, want to add my Wink of Stella. So I'm just going to just give kind of a few wispy like that. I think I just put my arm in it, so my arm's probably going to be sparkly. Ha! Huh. Oh, boy, those are gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. Oh, these are just stunning. And then the last thing I will do is probably add some of these rhinestones from the o Waves of the Ocean collection because 
just look how beautiful they coordinate with those leaves. I think that's going to be perfect. Um, hi, Diana. We are just ending, so I hope that you'll watch the replay. Thank you, Gay. Thanks, Debbie. Uh, what about a horizontal feature? Um, a horizontal feature like... Tell me where, Lori. Tell me where you're thinking of a horizontal feature. I'm interested. <clears throat> Let's see. Put the Navy Center one on the Navy card. Was this, this was our Navy. So if, yeah, you're right. You're right. So if we did, yes. Okay. So if I save those two for that, you are right. Who said that? That was brilliant. Jeannie or Jean. I'm not sure. Sorry. Um, yes. Perfect. Okay. Okay, yes, let's do that. We'll save that for the blue. And then I'll make one like this, but with with the red, the poppy flower instead of the yellow flower. Right? So this and a yellow. No, this and this and this for the yellow. So now, look, we can make something with that one. What are we going to make? What should we do? I'm wondering how the light blue would look. That's really pretty. This is Eastery to me, although I already stamped thank you. But I can, um, I can redo. I can redo one. I like the light blue in the background. What do you think about that? Oh my goodness. You know what? Here's what I think. There's no wrong answer. <laughs> what do you think? No wrong answer. <laughs> You're welcome, Cheryl. Thanks for joining us. Oh yes, a tag. It would be pretty as a tag. Let's see. Yep. Okay. You like that one. Good. Okay. No, Janet, this is not a kit. Let me recap super quickly. So yesterday I showed the new Waves of the Ocean collection, okay? It's a stamp set, dies, paper. So then I took the Waves of the Ocean paper and I have stamped my flowers in art gallery with, excuse me, with the art gallery set die cut them with the dies because it's part of the 20% off sale. And then now what I'm doing is I'm just layering them and there is a card set called Abstract Beauty Cards and Envelopes. It's in the January to June catalog. And all it is is a set of 10 pre-printed cards and envelopes. And that's what I'm kind of layering onto right now. So, no, it's not a kit. I've sort of made my own thing. So here you can just see. I was experimenting with colors on that paper, die-cutting the flowers, and we were just playing. So let me just check. Anybody else? Yes, Tammy, no wrong answer, right? Uh, love the light blue. Okay, good. All right. So I'm going to finish these up, add greetings, um, I think I might add maybe, let's just look and see what, what some linen thread, what a little bow would look like. It may not be the right answer, but you know, you don't know until you try. I just thought of an idea. You know what I should always have at my desk is a little pre-made linen thread bow because I'm often thinking to myself would that look good with linen thread and if I just left one of these on my desk that would be perfect sorry I'm just fussing with the one of these loops is too big okay hang on I'm redoing it I don't like it <laughs> but I think I'll do that I just leave one of these on my desk, 
then all I have to do is grab it and say, how does that look? So if we did that, And we just sort of had a cute little bow. Mm, okay, I don't know. Like, it's not really floating my boat. I think if it were, maybe that one. I think if it were a different color or if I used some ribbon. But I don't know. I just wanted to um, experiment. Thank you so much. Oh, Tammy, you're so cute. She says, guess what's going on low inventory this week? You're sweet. You're very sweet. Thank you. Oh, turn the card sideways. And I don't know if it'll fit. I think it's too tall. See, I by hanging these off the edge, they're, it's too tall. I can't turn it sideways. But I could do one like in a different um, ratio, right? And then, so like if I did one and I did it sideways... I could do the whole thing differently, but I'd have to redo it from, from scratch. I don't want to get these mixed up because we were going to do, hang on, the blue. I'm saving these. The blue center with the blue. It's going to be gorgeous. I'm saving that aside here. <laughs> All right. Um, any other, any questions or how do I make nice bows? Well, you see, I redid that one. I wasn't happy with the first one. Um, let me just get some ribbon. Let me just get a piece of ribbon. So when I tie it in the air, I make a loop, and I go front to back, and then I pull, and then I just fuss with it. I don't know. Is that a funny word? That's like what my grandma would have said. Fuss with it. Okay, and you just fuss with it. And if you if you make the loops a little bit smaller than what you want, and then you pull, okay, then they get larger and it tightens the center. And so there you go. Then you have a, a you know, pretty good. I mean, it's not perfect, but that's how I do it. And I'm just thinking, possibly, right? Ha 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 ha. I'm going to cut that off and save that because that might be amazing. <laughs> oh, I get so excited. Just saw this ribbon. What if we used, what is this called? I'm looking. Oh, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Sorry. This is called. I'm not even going to tell you what I just did. It's so silly. This is called fine art ribbon. I'm just looking at it with that. Uh, no, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. All right. Thank you all. Uh, no, I've never made a fork bow, Ellen. I know what it is, but I haven't. Oh, same paper, Ellen. I stamped the leaves on. Let me find that piece. The waves of the ocean paper. Same, same set of paper. And I just did the green. That's why it has the blue in it. And that's why it looks so good with these blue cards. Let's see. Yes, Linda, I hope you'll rewatch. We're just ending. Thanks, everybody. I do appreciate you hanging out with me and giving me help, some help because I, I just love your ideas. And then it kind of helps me get through all this. So I will get these finished. I will get them photographed. It'll probably be Saturday. So that would be the 5th, March 5th, that I'll have the finished cards on my blog, pattystamps.com. But I'm going to go ahead and get the links to purchase these products in the description of this video within the next couple of hours so that if you are interested in purchasing sooner, then you'll have that information. All right. Yes. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Gay. Thanks, Diane. Thanks, Ellen. Thanks, Kimmy. I appreciate you all. I will see you all soon. And, you know, I may not do a Facebook Live this Friday because I think this is already my 
third-ish one this week. I don't know if I have it in me to do yet another one on Friday. So if you don't see a live on Friday, don't panic. Just check my blog Saturday for these cards, and then I will be back next week with more goodness for you because I am hoping that the windmill die comes back in stock because I have samples over here to show you and I can't wait to show you, but I don't want to show you if you can't order it because then it's frustrating. So there we go. That's that. Anyway, thanks everybody. I will talk to you all soon. Bye.